the state of Victoria, Australia decided to bring out a Minister for Men's Behaviour Change. Uh, and we're going to see what's going on. If you haven't subscribed to Pro Theologist and Probrick Exclusive, do so. And if you haven't subscribed to Cops and Criminals TV, do that as well, which I just did. Let's see what's going on, guys. On December 10th, 2023, Miami police responded to a distress call reporting domestic violence. The incident involved a female causing a disturbance within her household, prompting law enforcement to intervene. No, but why? She is the one who punched. No, why? Okay, then you have to get in the car. No, but why? She. No, Natalie, why'd you fucking tell the truth? You punched me in the fucking head. Now, mom, mom said I'm domestic violence. You're the one who. Oh, I have. Oh, I pulled my head. She come on and fucking get off me. When the police arrived at the scene, they found the mother of the suspected girl sitting outside the home, possibly indicating she was seeking safety or had been removed from the house. Please leave your home. No, I'm her mother. Oh, mother. I'm the mental years. health team. Why are we screaming? You would like to talk to me? She keeps like threatening the hospital like for like many years. She keeps doing this, and then like, my lawyer told her to fucking rest. stop. Look at poor old mum. What happens is these people, listen to me viewers, these poor mothers, they they disable the disabled. They enable the disablement. They try and rescue them. They give them their money. They supply them with drugs. They let them do whatever they want. And they end up dysfunctional adults, infantile adults, dangerous adults. She's attacked the mother. This happens all the time. The media don't tell you much about it, but a lot of these adult children are domestically being violent to their parents and in some cases killing them. And she keeps making comments that my sister has told her to stop. And she keeps making me angry. She's been doing this for like like 14 years. Okay, I had to okay here's another instance, viewers. People say I'm hard. But should she be in this house? No. She needs to be shown the door. I've shown my children the door several times. You don't put up with this sort of... It's not, it's not her house. It's her house. Who else is behind the door? What will happen is these young grubs, young adult grubs, who have leached on their parents, they've had jobs and really made nothing of their money and ended up in debt. They blame the parent for it. Um, they'll pay rent or make some contribution and they think they can take over the house. They ruin the relationships of their mothers they, so that the mother is at the mercy of these people. Um, the mother might meet some nice man or something and these um, flying monkeys will ruin it. These vandal emotional vandalizers and they vandalize everything around them so that the mother's isolated and then finally at the end, they turn on the mother. It's my sister. Your sister Could you come and talk to us, please, ma'am? I'll talk to you. Call me over here. Before gathering more details, the police officer approached the female who arrived at the scene without her partner, asking for her name and requesting her cooperation with the investigation, likely to ascertain her involvement or gather pertinent information regarding the incident. Okay. okay. Do you want to put on some shorts? Cool. I have shorts underneath. Okay. Okay. Come. What is your name? Laura. Laura. Come talk to me, Laura. So. Okay, I can guarantee Laura would be a standover, an absolute standover bully. Taking care of over here. What's going on, Laura? Why do I smell so much bleach? Because I spilled the bleach on me. I see it. Yeah, I spilled the bleach, and my and my sister has told her to stop getting the police on the phone. Talk with me. So I, I I was trying to work on a relationship with my friend, and everybody said that he has like. Laura. A... Laura. What were you doing with the police? I was in the bathroom. And my mom was already on the phone with the cops. I said stop, and I spilled the bleach, and. and... Okay, but you didn't tell me. Laura's already got issues that she hasn't resolved and is unable to resolve by the sound of it mentally. What were you doing with the beach? Okay, so first of all, it started because I was trying to rekindle my friendship with my boyfriend and everybody keeps saying that he's got somebody else. I'm like, why does everybody keep saying that? And my mom said, it's my fault. I ruined everything. And it probably was. The mother, mother tried to speak sense to her and she wasn't going to have it. Um... I've seen these people ruin everything they have and including everything for the mother as well and then turn around and blame the parent. My sister 
told her to stop getting the cops on the phone. I've, I've been through hospitals right. after hospitals. Right. The officer began the investigation by questioning her, and she willingly provided all necessary information. The female was presenting the information in a manner that portrayed her family as the instigators of the disturbance, implying that she was the victim. However, upon further investigation, it became evident that the female was actually at fault in this case, despite her attempts to shift blame onto her family. And blame shifting is the first thing you got to look out for. I've been in situations where the relationship's been going fine, and then you'll get an adult child that's living with a parent, and you've run into this parent, you're trying to build a relationship, and they'll come up with all sorts of fantasies and, and things, and the parent just sits there mute. And you watch the situation hoping to get a resolve, and there is no resolve. That's why this person can't resolve anything, because they've never been shown how to do it by the parent. So there's no point you hanging around waiting for a resolve because you're never going to get it. Police is not a bad thing. No, but I have a case already going on. What type of case? A know? felony case because I got accused of something in back in March and I told my what? What? Um, apparently cutting somebody with a knife. Okay. I had to do not here somewhere else. And I apparently cutting someone with a knife. So you've got a violent individual. A couple of drinks, a few drugs, and she'll kill or maim or kill someone. And I've seen these young people who are on drugs and stuff. That, that you can see them seething underneath. You don't put yourself in situations where these people can get to you. You leave. I have a lawyer, and my lawyer told my mom to stop getting hospitals on the phone. Let lawyer calm no, down. No, she, she told you to back off. See how she stands over the parent. The mother's worn out. This is how they end up. I'm staying here temporarily to be with my dog, and I was going about to go about to go back home to my apartment. Yeah, I don't live here. I have my own apartment. Mm -hmm. And my sister told her to stop getting the cops on the phone. She's trying to calm down. My sister was trying to calm me down. I'm, I'm pissed off. You still haven't answered my question. Why were you with? with oh, I was in the bathroom. Oh, my, my sister was in the bathroom with me, and I had bleach in my hand already, and it spelt. It got spelt. Mom, stop it! Leave me alone! You ruined my she's, life. She's asking. She's you're you're, you're, I'm 31. You see that? Mum, you will ruin my life. She's 31. Now, listen, does she seem like a 31-year-old adult to you? Absolutely not. 100% not. And there's males and females like this right throughout our communities that have failed to grow up. No, I've been in the hospital. I have a lawyer. My, my lawyer told her to stop calling. Let's let Laura go and do her own thing. She's been doing this since 2011. So what did you do with the bleach bottle? So she was in the bathroom with the bleach. What did she do with it? My sister even said to like, leave her alone. Stop calling the cops. Okay. I, I, what made me mad is because my, everybody keeps saying... Yeah. After obtaining information from the girl, the officer then approached her mother and initiated an investigation from her as well. The mother contradicted Still the daughter's in her claim, pajamas. stating that it was the daughter who had thrown bleach on her skin and arms, revealing a different Still perspective. Still in her pajamas. Okay, so she's in the bathroom with the bleach on her own? So what's going on with the... Okay, I was hiding in the bathroom, oh, and the bathroom. she came in and she took the spray bleach and sprayed it on me. Where? And which sprayed on my, on my arm, and... She told me to get off the phone because she was throwing things. She was throwing. Episode? Her episode has been increasing. She's planning to kill people. Okay. 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 Now, and you said she's been Baker before. Yes. Okay. Now I've had videos that would come out. Oh, I don't know, six months ago, where I explained that these young people will kill their parents. They get to a point where they'll kill the parent. Okay. That's what she's Recently, worried about. She's worried about now, being when killed. When I say Baker acted, okay, as far as I know right now, and I'm very upset, okay? okay? I understand. Okay. They were voluntary as opposed to her being arrested. Okay. Oh, so she, okay. In lieu of her being arrested, they in, took her to the right, crisis. Right, right, exactly, well, because she's case, having a crisis. In this, in this case, okay? In this case, she sprayed you with a... With bleach. Right. Look at this. I, Another I adult in pajamas. No future. Right. Yeah, they did change. They did change yes. the signal yes. to that. Right. Right. During the investigation, the mother's assertion was highly surprising and difficult to accept. She claimed that her daughter was experiencing a mental health crisis and had been on medication for the past 10 years. This revelation introduced a complex dimension to the situation, raising questions about the family's dynamics and the daughter's behavior. How she old are you? Now, that's 100 percent. What happens is these people enable the disablement disabled the other daughter's disabled the whole family's disabled she's 72 
they hide in these houses and build the dysfunction to a point where they're not even rational. 72. Okay. And, and she has been threatening to kill the ex-boyfriend. Okay. She so I'm going to ask you a question. Do you think the Baker Act is going to help her moving forward? I think what would help her, and this is from experience, because her entire life she has had problems, okay? okay? But not on a sustained basis. She has had times when she's absolutely fine. Mm -hmm. For example, in... Well, that's what I'm about to tell you. In high school, she was on medication that was working because it took time to get her to the levels that right, would right, work. Right, right. It takes time. And when she turned 18, both she and her sister said, we're 18, we're adults, and they voluntarily took themselves off the medication okay so her and the sister were medicated there's so many people out there that are medicated now that you don't know who you've been mixed up with and then ever since then she has had periodic times when she has become dangerous she was not on medication for 10 years and during that time, I had to get a temporary restraining order on her. And they kept her only three days because she lied to them. Period. But she lied to them and didn't tell she them you know what, what to was say. She's been going, going through the process. That's why I'm asking okay. you. Do so, you think the Baker Act is helping? The, the, this the is what I'm trying to say. When she's released without proper treatment, it doesn't help. And without proper medication, it right. doesn't help. Right, right. That's the That's problem. That's how we get to point and, like today. Okay, so for example, she has lithium as far as I understand. She doesn't take it. I don't even know if it's at the optimal dose. Okay, okay? part of the problem, and I happen to be a lawyer, and I happen to have been a def an insurance matter. defense lawyer. I was a Miami Dade. doesn't matter what you were. This is the problem that we've got now, right? She's been a dysfunctional parent and enabled the disablement. This okay. county attorney to talk to them many times. I'm asking mom, because she's living here, and you know how the process is with, with the healthcare system. She's going to go in and out in well, the hospital. I'm under the impression that Miami Dade has a better mental health system. Grabbed me, pulled my hair, okay, okay. tried to throw me off. What is her best. diagnosis? Then? I don't know the, the current. I don't know the current. And here's what I need to tell you. Okay. She started I'm, out. I'm writing down everything. I'm not ignoring you. I didn't think you were. I, I really didn't. She, uh, she's misleading. She's misleading the officer right now. Okay, what is your okay. name? And I'm still a registered licensed no lawyer. I can't. I just do it directly through Hold proper on. doctors and medication. Case, she physically um, harmed you? For some time for her or some, some Oh yeah, please, Natalie. Because she physically harmed you. I know because of but her diagnosis. But I'm not going to press charges. Okay, that's where you're going to tell investigate attorney's office. But for, for today. Okay, for today, with this situation, this is the protocol we have to go through, okay? You are a lawyer. You have practiced the law. But, but I don't practice criminal law, okay. and I know by yeah. what are people there? by what I went through before. Lawyers in the court. Are you okay trying to help her put it on? Yeah. No, I'm not doing anything. Don't want to press charges. Don't want to press charges. No, we'll talk to the state attorney's office, okay? Could you imagine being mixed up with one of these, these people? You can't tell from the outside how bad it is until you become involved and then all of a sudden you're in this mess. Carver, we have no discretion, you know, like your mom. But I'm not doing I'm anything. Is your mom and your mom's age. Laura. No, but your I'm not, I didn't do anything. Are you going to put your feet in? You, Natalie, why did you open the door? I didn't do I didn't anything. You're going to go to jail. Okay, we're going to put it in a car. Maybe we can put it in Is she going to jail? Yes. Uh, I'll talk to you. Let's go. Come on. No, I didn't. No. Now you're going to have no shorts on. You have shorts? You're going to go to jail again. You're going to be lost. The officers arrested her and placed She's her in the police car, despite her not wearing pants. She continued to argue with the officers, demanding an explanation for her arrest. The officer informed her that she was being arrested for domestic battery, indicating that her behavior had crossed legal boundaries and warranted intervention by law enforcement. Do you have flight though? I don't have sandals. You're ruining my life! I was about to... No, Mom! Mom said I'm domestic violence! You're the one who... Oh, be... I didn't... Oh, I pulled my hand to... But I don't understand. I'm not doing anything. She's trying to make my life worse. What is she doing? She's ruined her own life. Wait, wait, let me put on some, some gloves. Yes, step inside the room. I didn't do anything. You're ruining my case. I told you to tell mom to stop. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. There's a matrix behind that noise, that voice um, that a lot of these people use. She did do something. She abused her mother, and this is the consequences of it. But they'll sit there and say, I didn't do anything. 
They'll throw the mother under the bus. They'll bash them. They'll rob from them. They'll cheat, steal. And the mother enables it all. Because this is, a, this is a family. We can change things, okay? This is a family issue right now. Please sit inside, okay? Put your feet inside. Like, I don't, don't want to go, go in jail. Just, this doesn't mean that you're going to jail at this moment. You are secu safely secure. You're not out in the open screaming out loud. You sit here quietly, okay? Please put your feet in. Thank you so much. Okay? Please don't lie to me, though. We don't lie. No. In court, the female was formally charged with domestic battery based on the evidence and statements gathered during the initial response to the incident. If you So there you go, guys. If you haven't subscribed to Pro Theologist Pro Rick Exclusive, do it. Encourage me to make these videos and don't forget to subscribe to Cops and Criminal TV. Bye for now.